the 2018 David Brown Automotive Speedback Silverstone Edition. Founded back in 2013, David Brown Automotive is the creator of a variety of custom, hand-built British four-wheeled machines, including skillfully remastered iterations of the original Mini and a two-door luxury speed machine called the Speedback GT. Now, the boutique automaker is offering up a new version of the Speedback, and it arrives with more power from the front-mounted supercharged V8, specialized styling touches to the exterior and interior, and a very limited production run. Revealed recently at the 2018 Geneva International Motor Show, this Grand Tourer model seeks to provide well-heeled enthusiasts with exclusivity, performance, comfort, and old-school panache, all in a modern two-door coupe package. Continue reading to learn more about the David Brown Automotive Speedback Silverstone Edition. What makes the David Brown Automotive Speedback Silverstone Edition special, taking cues from the jet age and old school racers, the Speedback Silverstone Edition offers a handcrafted feel that definitely sets it apart, from the off, it's clear the David Brown Automotive Speedback Silverstone Edition creates a mix of old school themes and modern styling touches. In this case, the vehicle takes its cues from the launch of the jet age, as well as the racing cars that slingshotted around circuits in the 60s. As such, it offers a handcrafted feel that sets it apart from the pack of mass-produced GT cars, each model will be made using traditional coach building techniques at David Brown Automotive's headquarters and build facility in Silverstone, the home of the iconic racing circuit, says the brand. Celebrating one year since David Brown Automotive moved to its Silverstone base, the new model is honed for performance, drawing close links to the aeronautical and racing heritage of the celebrated circuit. Outside, we find a slew of aeronautical and racing themes for the handcrafted aluminum body, with larger side skirts, a lower front spoiler, a rear diffuser, large side vents behind the front wheels, and of course, the requisite badging declaring the model's specialness. The exhaust tips were also inspired by jets, while the exhaust note was tuned to sound like a race car. In the corners, you'll find forged 20-inch alloy wheels in a unique afterburner design, while up front, there's a unique grille mesh insert. Leading the front fenders is a double set of oval LED driving lights set in a dark ceramic surround, while a trio of clear taillights sit vertically in the rear. Tinted rear glass finishes it off, chrome detailing is used throughout, while a multi-layer metallic paint in a deep black finish adds plenty of on-road presence, the look and layout finds an interesting mix between old and new, with modern technology offset by handcrafted elements and rounded analog gauges, step into the cabin, and you'll find a good number of additional 60s cues. The look and layout finds an interesting mix between old and new, with modern technology offset by handcrafted elements and rounded analog gauges. The air vents also play to the jet theme with a kind of rifling element for the interior of the vent. The upholstery is done up with a brogue material and embroidered trim, with the company offering antique and ebony leather topped by tan contrast stitching. Further materials include Cavadrat Remix premium fabric, an open pour ebony Macassar wood veneer, and metal inlays. The layout offers two seats maximum, but does include a space for luggage in the rear as a replacement for the bench seat normally seen on a 2 plus 2 layout. Both passengers will enjoy a heating feature and full adjustability for their bolstered bucket seats. Leather and Alcantara extend beyond the seats and onto the steering wheel, while brushed aluminum switchgear and brushed chrome detailing add a little extra bling. The speedometer and tachometer continue the theme of aeronautics thanks to their unique design, and although they still use physical needles and not digital displays, this special edition model still gets modern infotainment features, such as satellite navigation, Bluetooth support, and a 7.1 channel Bowers and Wilkins stereo. It's a nice bit of kit, no doubt about it, but the party piece has to be the 5.0 liter V8 under the hood, it's a nice bit of kit, no doubt about it, but the party piece has to be the 5.0 liter V8 under the hood, which comes complete with a twin scroll supercharger for extra performance aspirations. Output is rated at 601 horsepower and 565 pound feet of torque, all of which is routed through a six speed automatic transmission from ZF. Power is sent exclusively to the rear axle, just as it should on a traditional GT model, properly motivated, the David Brown Automotive Speedback Silverstone Edition can hit 60 miles per hour in a scant 4.2 seconds and will go on to achieve a top speed of 155 miles per hour. To help it handle the power increase, the suspension was upgraded with fresh tuning specs. While more capable, the setup still seeks to find a balance between dynamic prowess and comfort. 
Final touches for the handling include an integrated dynamic stability control system, performance brakes, and an active rear differential. Speedback Silverstone Edition addresses our ambition on every level, as a visually stunning grand tourer and the most performance-focused model we have ever made. Production is limited at just 10 units total. Pricing starts at £620,000 $868,223 at current exchange rates, March 20, 2018, for the limited-run Silverstone Edition, while the regular Speedback GT is priced at £520,000 $728,187 at current exchange rates, March 20, 2018. Each is built to order in either left-hand drive or right-hand drive. References David Brown Automotive Speedback Silverstone Edition gives everyone a lesson of design well done. Read our full review on the 2015 David Brown Automotive Speedback GT. Read more Geneva Motor Show news. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.